Bye! What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel today. You and I, bestie, we are going to become chefs. <laughs> okay? Let me give you guys a little backstory. Um, so, long story short, <laughs> I don't know how to cook. Um, usually when I say that I'm cooking, it's just taking a few things, putting them inside of the microwave or the air fryer, taking them out, putting them on a plate, calling it a day. But I've never actually made like a proper meal, like a proper proper like meal 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 meal. That is until today because I found this viral recipe online. I was just scrolling on TikTok and then I came across this viral like spaghetti recipe and the minute I saw it I was like oh my gosh I have to do this. Like it only makes sense because number one I love spaghetti and pasta and everything of that sort and number two this is a pivotal moment in my life where I genuinely need to learn how to cook. I can't keep relying on food delivery services because while I like having fun, I'm also on a budget and I literally can't keep ordering food every time I wanna eat. I also wanna just know how to have that genuine skill where I'm like, I know how to cook. And this recipe involves having pots and pans. Like I'm gonna be using the stove and also the oven. I've never used the oven. I actually don't know how it works. It's gonna be the most talented. Brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before. And I'm excited to get right into it. So let us begin. These are the ingredients that I'm gonna need. So I'm going to need, it mentioned garlic powder and I tried to look for garlic powder, like I saw garlic salt, but based off of the spices that we already have, I have garlic flakes. And I hope that that's gonna give the same vibe. So garlic flakes, I also got Cajun seasoning, beef bolognese pasta sauce, Italian herbs, onion powder, whipping cream, crushed garlic, butter, mozzarella cheese, some spaghetti, some peppers, onions. Guys, I'm trying to take out the mincemeat and this door is literally frozen shut. Like it doesn't want to open. <laughs> You're actually kidding. It's not opening. Meat. And then of course some measuring cups and then if I need anything else along the way we'll just go grab it Now the first step in cooking is washing your hands because hygiene is very important So I'm gonna go wash my hands again again. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is cut up some peppers and of course some onions guys Cooking low-key can be a lot of fun, but I feel like it's also incredibly difficult. There has to be like some kind of science when it comes to cooking because it's just so technical. Like you have to make sure that you have all the ingredients right and you have to make sure that, you know, all the flavors, you know, combine and make sense when they come together. Cooking is low-key like one big science experiment. And the thing about cooking is that it just takes so much time and you have to like kind of be precise with everything. Otherwise, it's not going to end up the way you anticipated it to be. And yes, Cooking does require a lot of effort, but cooking also requires a lot of patience as well. Especially if you're making like a meal like this that has all these different ingredients. You have to cook multiple things for one dish. You have to cook the spaghetti separately, then you have to cook the mince separately, then you have to make the sauce separately. There's just a lot of individual pieces that are going <laughs> into this one dish. It is... It, 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 but I feel like once you get the hang of it, it's actually worthwhile. And that's who I want to become. I literally want to be that person that knows how to make fire dishes from scratch. You guys, I feel like low-key cooking is kind of relaxing. Like there's just something so relaxing and I think rewarding in a way of like whatever dish I'm gonna eat, I made it. Okay, I'm literally trying to cut this into tiny, tiny, tiny pieces, but some of them are gonna be huge pieces. Pe some of them are just gonna be huge pieces and I'm just gonna have to deal with that, <laughs> okay? There's nothing that I need, like I still have a whole lot of things to do. All right, I think the peppers are okay. There are our green peppers and now let's cut the onion. I genuinely do not know how to cut vegetables and I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm such a chef. To be quite honest, I don't know where this like idea or fascination of cooking for me came from. Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, I wasn't expecting. <laughs> I guess I just woke up today and decided, you know what, let me just cook something. And the fact that I'm actually starting off by doing something big, like cooking a whole pasta dish, like this is very important to me. Pasta has a special place in my heart. And the fact that I'm making my first meal, a pasta meal, could actually make or break my cooking era. Also, I noticed that the minced meat is still frozen solid. So I might need to 
defrost this before putting it in the pan. So let me go do that. Okay, five hours later, the mince has finally defrosted. <laughs> Just kidding, it wasn't five hours, it was like 10 minutes. But it felt like five hours. Maybe six. It is time to bring the pots! Ah, I'm so excited about this. Okay, I think it's smart to start by cooking the mince first and then the spaghetti, and then we'll do the sauce like towards the end so that it doesn't like get all dry and clumped up. Also, outside there's literally birds having like a whole meeting. I don't know if you can hear them. That's that one princess who sings with birds. What's her name again? Snow White, I think? Where she's with the ugly stepsisters. Or maybe that's another... Anyway, I don't know how to cook mints. Siri, um, call my mom, please. Calling Queen Mother. Purr. Hello. Hey, bestie. How are ya? Yeah. Purr. Um, how do I cook mints? Uh, the plate mustn't be too hot. Okay. Put the mints as is. Okay, I defrosted it, is that fine? Yeah. Okay, and I put the mess. And then you can add your seasoning, uh, onions, garlic. Yeah. And then do I do I break it apart? Of course, you have to separate. Alright, I'm hungry. Dinner will be ready soon, okay? <laughs> okay, so I have added my mince to the pot and I think let's also add the onions, the peppers and also like the seasoning. There go the onions! And then of course the bell pepper as well! You guys, I don't want to lie, right? But low-key, I'm feeling very tired and that's because I did Pilates earlier on today. Now, it was the Pilates where it's literally just you and the mat, but I don't want to lie when I'm saying that I am feeling it right now like you'd think pilates would be like so like calming and relaxing like pilates literally requires like core strength it requires upper body arm strength which i don't necessarily have so it was kind of intense and kind of a lot and it's weird because when i started the exercise it literally said this is a low intensity 20 minute workout L what a lie what a lie. That was the highest intensity workout I have ever seen in my life. Okay, I think it's time to add the seasoning as well. So I'm gonna start off with some onion powder. Literally, not even a lot, just like sprinkle. Oh. Oh! I can't make this up. Sprinkle a little bit of onion powder. That's fine. What scares me the most about cooking is actually the seasoning part of it because like that's literally the thing that could make your dish go really good or really bad. Like you can have everything cooked to absolute perfection but the minute you mess up with the seasoning then that's when everything just goes down south. I literally don't even have time to do anything right now. This mince is like, I don't want it to burn. Okay next we're going in with some Italian herbs. Sprinkle a little bit over there, all right. Next we go in with our Cajun seasoning. Oh, you're kidding. I swear, if this happens again, please, please, please. Slay! Why didn't the onion powder do that? Okay, next up, we're gonna take some Cajun seasoning and just put a little sprinkle, a little dash. I don't know what I'm doing. You know what? If it's under seasoned, it is nothing that salt and pepper won't fix at the end. So it looks like it's coming together. Like, it doesn't look that bad. Like, the pieces are low key adding up a bit. Okay, I need to clean this up right now. <laughs> I feel like the birds are laughing at me now because now they're chirping louder than ever before. Okay, I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more seasoning just so that it's really not bland. More Cajun seasoning. Add a little bit more Italian herbs. And of course, some garlic flakes as well. Like, just really just sprinkle them in. Okay, right now it's time to add the sauce! Okay, now in the video they didn't specify how much spaghetti sauce I need to put, so literally with this recipe, I'm trusting my instincts. <sighs> Pilates. I feel like when it comes to cooking, you literally just have to like eyeball a lot of the things. Literally kitty vibes, if it. I think that's fine. I think that might have been too much. <laughs> okay, wait, it's actually starting to smell nice. I think this, whoever invented this, <sighs> wow. Look at that and tell me that that doesn't look like proper mints that you'd see at a restaurant. For someone who, hello, has never done this before, I'm actually kind of impressed with myself. Like, the fact that I've gone this far, at this point I can just stop, like, we can just eat mints for dinner. But I'm actually kind of impressed, like, ah, hello! And so, I think 
while I have the mince going, I think let's also just start making the spaghetti as well so that we can have both things running at the same time. The fact that I'm about to have two plates on at the same time scaring me a little bit. At least the spaghetti comes with instructions on how to cook. Side eye, mince meat. So I need three liters of water. Oh, I just spilled two. I, literally, I can't even pour more. I don't have a pot that's big enough. I should have swapped pots. Ah! Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, <gasps> I'm starting to understand how the contestants felt on those cooking shows that I used to watch. Heike, this is one of the most stressful times. I can't even imagine doing this with someone timing you and counting you down. I don't want to burn my mincemeat. I think it's ready, but I also don't want it to be underdone. I think I'm going to leave it on for just like a couple more minutes and then I'm going to take it off. Um, what is this thing? Oh! Wait, this is kind of like aesthetic. And then what does this do? This light is confusing me. Um, you guys, this mint smells incredible. Like I'm actually obsessed. Like no, actually obsessed. Okay, so I need to add a little bit of salt to the spaghetti water so that it's not bland. I'll just also add a little bit of salt there as well. With cooking, you really just need to be on your A game. Like anything can happen. You need to be able to make quick, in the moment decisions that could either make or break your dish. That's what the chefs do. Okay, so I have my mince. It's looking really, you know, it's, it's coming together. I'm proud of that. It also smells really good. And then I have the water for the spaghetti. As you can see, it's starting to like boil up a little bit. So right now it's telling me to add the pasta and stir occasionally. Cook briskly for approximately six to eight minutes or until el dente. Now what? Hey Siri, yeah? please set a timer for six minutes. Six minutes, starting now. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. Okay, I won't. Okay. Should we also make the sauce now? Honestly, I'm on a roll. I'm ready for everything. Let's go. The recipe says that I need to melt a stick of butter, but I don't know. I have a tub, so I don't know how much a stick is. Um, okay, one stick is half a cup. Okay, 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 okay. So... This is a lot of butter. All right, I still think that's a lot, but whatever. Okay, the butter is actually melting nice and quick, which is very exciting. The fact that I actually could have a meal within the next couple of minutes is so nice. Guys, I have three pots on the stove. Ha! Right, all of this spaghetti is now submerged into the water. Okay, now it's time to add the crushed garlic. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit. I don't wanna overdo it with the garlic now. I'm just gonna add like one little teaspoon. That should suffice. Next up, I have to add two cups of this whipping cream. So let's do that. I actually need to wash this, so BRB. That's half, one, two, and okay, so if I knew, I would've just poured the whole thing. Okay, now the next step is telling me to add Parmesan cheese. And I don't wanna lie guys when I say that I went to three different shops, three, and I could not find Parmesan cheese anywhere. So I guess I'm just gonna have to use mozzarella, and hopefully it's not going to change the recipe up that much. Okay, I think the spaghetti is done for now. That looks like it's spaghetti, haha. <laughs> Yes! All right, so adding a little bit more salt in the spaghetti so that it can just like, you know, simmer and soak in the salt. And then I'm gonna pour some salt into this little cheese sauce. Add a little bit of black pepper in it as well. Stirring away. Okay, so now that it's cooled down a little bit, I think let's taste the mincemeat to see if it's a bop or a flop. First time ever cooking mincemeat, let's see. Honestly, it's not that bad. I just think it needs a lot more seasoning. Like, this might be the beginning of my cooking era. If you guys see me become a chef, don't be surprised because you saw the signs. Oh, okay, stove is off. Now it is time to put everything into like a bake type beat. All right, you guys, it is time to assemble the thing. All right. So it's gonna be the same vibes as like a pasta bake kind of thing, so. Okay. 
Tastes like spaghetti. Let's go. All right, I'm just gonna spread this across. The thing is, like, I don't have a casserole dish. I only have this thing, so the food might be very flat. Um, but you know what? We'll make it work. Up next, I bring in the mincemeat. I think the real mission is spreading everything out to make sure that everything is evenly spread. All right, so we're gonna top this off with some mozzarella cheese. It's nice and cheesy. And then I'm just gonna add like additional seasonings, I think to just top it off while it's baking inside the oven. So we're gonna add some parsley on top, just sprinkle it over there. Then I'm also gonna add some oregano as well. I don't know what I'm doing, but I usually see my mom do this and my mom's food tastes delicious, so. Last but not least, we're gonna add a little bit of paprika. I could be ruining the dish now. This is how it's looking right now. It is now time for the final step for this meal, and that is to put it in the oven. I genuinely do not know how to use this. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on, I think it's one, 50, 60, 70, 80, so like here, 80, 90, 100, yeah, like about there. And then we just need to do this for about 15 minutes. All right. I'll call you back in 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, you guys, look at this. Oh, are you actually kidding? I'm gonna give it a few minutes to cool down a little bit because it just literally came right out of the oven right now. And then we are going to have a bite of the first meal that I cooked. Me, yours truly. I'm just gonna cut a little piece over here. All right, I love the stringiness of the cheese. That looks good. There it is, that's our dish. Let us taste if we can become chefs or not. Cheers. Wow. It's a little, a little under season, like just a little bit but guys this is actually really good the way the mozzarella cheese sauce is not overpowering but it has like that perfect kick the parsley oregano and paprika that I added at the end also gives it like a nice balance as well not to mention how beautifully the mincemeat and the spaghetti is actually cooked I did it from now on I'm a chef oh it's so nice that we get to end this video off on a high note I like that <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching I greatly appreciate it if you enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe to my channel you can comment down below anything wait no actually comment down below wow babalo i had no idea that you were such an incredible chef and you are a chef and wow comment that thank you thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye